Good morning, boys and girls of the internet. Tell me the last time you saw one of these bad boys. This is a 2004 Mazda 6. This has the Duratec 3 liter V6 in it. And of course it is in the station wagon flavor. My absolute favorite. With the 24 valve Duratec V6, like I mentioned. This is a newer trim style, updated from the ones that are in the earlier Tauruses and Escapes. Power windows, power door locks, tilt cruise, telescoping wheel, leather seats. It's full power on the driver's side. Passenger side is Manuel. We had to put a mirror in this car, replace the throttle body, which is a common failure point. It's got a sunroof. Other than that, and some valve cover gasket she was ready to rock and roll 132,000 miles that's nothing it's an 04 you know storage pockets original owner's manual fake carbon fiber she is snazzy this one's got the luggage rack on the top and the doors are locked but we got the power locks so it's all good. A little tear on the seat. That was some tape and stuff that was on the car. So the rear seats, I'm not sure how, there you go. Fold down, rubber mat. Still in the trunk. Shocks are good. These aren't a split. The whole hatch opens are nothing. Uh, the glass doesn't open on these. Factory rubber mat, factory size spare. This has the Bose stereo that is a subwoofer in the middle of the spare tire. Storage, hooks, anchors. You can also, I guess, lay the seats down from right here. Oh, come back seat. How cool is that? That's pretty snazzy. Got one over here too. More storage. No trailer hitch on this one, but we do have the dual exhaust. Mazda 6 station wagon. So I didn't see a lot of these when they were new. You know, much less now. They just, I don't know if it just wasn't popular or what the effect was, but they just... Didn't see a lot of these. They were offered in a standard, which you don't ever see. Uh, my brother William, he had a Mazda 6, the regular sedan, and his had the five-speed manual transmission in it. That thing was awesome. It would absolutely fly. It felt pretty good. It shifted good. It, was a good car but this thing 132,000 no warning lights you got a automatic transmission gear indicator here that changes to let you know what gear you're in you've also got the you can bump it over and manually shift it if that's your cup of tea gotta turn this heat down we're in for some seriously cold weather over the next few days going into Christmas. Uh, right now, I think it's like 30 outside. Uh, up above us in Boone, North Carolina, they're actually calling <laughs> uh, Friday and Saturday. Overnight Friday, it's gonna be negative three with a daytime high around nine degrees. And Saturday, the daytime high is around 10 and the low is around four, so. We'll see how that pans out. We were supposed to get a big old batch of snow dumped on top of us, but now they're saying that's just gonna happen for the mountain areas uh, in the low country down here. 
I probably won't see anything but maybe some freezing rain or some sleet. Um, but you know, we're up across the state line where we live, so we, we don't know yet. Usually when it comes across the mountains of Tennessee, we usually get something. Tennessee and Georgia will normally end up with some cold weather. Now Boone and Banner Elk have already had some this year. A little bit of snow, but we haven't had anything, so. But yeah, we're gonna take some time off for Christmas. So, this car is wrapped up, buttoned up, and pretty much ready to go now. That's why I wanted to film it here before it goes to the lot to be sold. Looks like it could use an alignment. Maybe the air pressure's off and the tires, these don't have TPMS monitoring, but it's the wheel's a hair to the left. It doesn't feel like anything's loose. It's just a hair to the left. It doesn't feel like it's pulling to the left. But, so I might need an alignment. I don't know. Drives fantastic though. the station wagon so Buick brought the station wagon back a few years ago um, I can't remember what it was called Sorry, I don't know um, but I'll post a picture of what I'm talking about right here Yeah, that's the Buick station wagon that I'm referring to. I really like those. You don't see a lot of those. Uh, there's a car lot not far from us that had one earlier this year for sale, and I think they wanted like 16.5 for it or 15.5. It was it was up there, but it was super nice, low miles. It was cherry red, fully loaded. It was a touring edition. These Duratec motors, though, they are peppy. Uh, so this is essentially just a more modern revision of what's in my Ford Escape, and God, they are awesome. They will absolutely go down the road. Plenty of power, plenty of get up and go, smooth, quiet, good motors. Oh look, Santa Cruz. Hyundai pickup truck. Yeah, but she runs out nice. Got a CD player, no tape deck. My brother's had a six disc CD changer with a tape deck. And he used to play his music through a cassette adapter. That was years ago. There's a Chevrolet Trailblazer SS. I always like those. But yeah. Good cars. earlier Mazda 6, the sedan, uh, it was essentially just a, uh, a Ford Taurus. Oh, DOT boys got him one. Look, he's, he's going after that truck. Uh, uh, uh. Going after that roll-off truck or dump truck, whatever it was, couldn't tell. Yeah, but the earlier Mazda 6, uh, you know, when they dropped the Millennia name and brought the Mazda 6 around, all it was was essentially built off of a Ford Taurus. I mean, motors, transmissions, and everything alike. But. Is that 
2004, a buck 30 on it for miles, and man, this thing drives good. I'd like to have it for myself. This is not a color I think I'd want, though. This is a weird greenish pale color. I think it would look much better in a white. But, but man, this thing drives good. But needed to drive it anyway, make sure I had the coolant bled good. And we had heat and everything, which we do. It's got a furnace in it. Transmission shifting great. Motor sounds great. It, it just really, really drives good. Center console with a cigarette lighter in it. Big old pothole. Tinted windows, I don't think that's factory. They normally don't tint the front ones. And they are black on the back. What do you think though? That baby is sharp. I need to wipe some grease off the fenders. Set of LSR Grand Touring tires on it by Mastercraft. Just a good looking car. Got one little ding right here in the door. I like it. All right, folks. 2004 Mazda 6 station wagon so tell me in the or <clears throat> drop a comment down below let me know what you think and tell me folks when was the last time you've seen one it's been a while for me but we will catch you in the next one thank you all for watching i've got to move on to some other stuff now <laughs> we'll see you